1981 Land Rover Series 3. As you can see, this is a 109 chassis, so the longer version. Um, so you had your 88, which was your short wheelbase, and your 109, which was your long wheelbase. This one, um, it's had quite an extensive restoration over the last few years. Um, and more importantly, it, ha it comes with the very rare factory 2.6 litre six cylinder petrol engine. So obviously your normal options are your four cylinder, two and a bit litre petrol or diesel. This one is your factory six cylinder diesel. Uh, sorry, six cylinder petrol, ignore me. I've, uh, I've briefly had it down the road. What a difference it makes. Loads more torque. Much nicer noise, much smoother. Very big difference over your standard four pots. Let's start by having a look at the bodywork. If you check the description, we will detail everything we know about this thing. It's been, like I say, back to a bare chassis, galvanized chassis, all new bits and bobs, stainless steel fixings, respray, full engine rebuild, everything. But we will detail all of that because there is quite a lot to go through. Um, but in the video, we'll go around, we'll look at the bodywork, we'll have a look underneath, We'll do the interior and then we'll get it fired up. Uh, I parked it here last night. It hasn't been started since since then. So we'll do a nice cold engine start up. Starting on the front drive, on the driver's side, if we look down this side, it is nice and straight. It's not full of filler or anything like that. You're going to have the odd little ripple here and there, especially down this rear quarter, which is standard on a Land Rover. Um, but front wing wise, nice and tidy. Got one tiny little ding just there. I am going to be quite picky with this thing. Lovely and clean on that front arch though, all the way around, nice and sharp. You can see inside there, part of the outrig is on the chassis, and then obviously the chassis itself. It's a galvanized chassis um, that has been then painted black, so it looks correct. Um, you can see in certain areas where the galv is, so it is nice and obvious. Nice and clean on that inner front wing. Front wheels painted in the correct color with the freewheeling hubs, uh, and it's got four good quality, uh, what have we got there? Pathfinders all the way around. Um, but again, they were a nice tyre when I drove it on the road, so it did feel good. A couple of little marks in the paint here and there. Like I say, the paintwork was done quite a while ago. Nice standard for a Land Rover. Be more than happy sticking it on the show field or more than happy using it. Nice and clean and tidy around the hinges on the front door. And more importantly, we've got stainless fittings. There's nothing worse when people do these restorations and then they put nasty cheap fixings back in and they always rust. Whereas these stainless ones, proper job. Around the tombstones on the front. Nice and clean, as is the rest of that scuttle panel. Windscreen glass is all nice and clear. You can see up onto the roof. Again, tidy, straight. It is the best colour combo as well. Green with cream. Driver's door, no real marks or anything to note there. There's one very minor scratch down the bottom there. It's all good around the handle. And the glass on the front is nice and clear as well. I'm going to pop the camera under here, underneath at this point. You can see outrig is all the way down there are oh, excellent. I mean, it's as close to brand new under here as you're going to get. Really, really good. See there where it's had something bounce up at some point. You can see the golf poking through there. See the bottom floors. All very good. And we'll do it again a bit further down. Coming down this driver's side, nice and clean along the bottom here. And then up into this rear arch again, sharp all the way around on that arch lip. Inside the arch, I appreciate it's dark, but you can see just how good that is. Really, really nice and tidy. If I put the camera over there, you can see even the straps are brand new. Another good wheel and tyre. Couple of little ripples along the sort of riveted section, which is standard. And then the panel section on the back. If we're being picky, a really good polish would make a big difference on that. It's ever so slightly orange peely. It doesn't look like it's been polished back since it's been painted. You can see that sort of light haze on the camera. A proper polish will make a massive, massive difference to that. Coming round on the back, all new light fittings, all lovely and clear and bright. As you can see, stainless fittings in the right places. Rear of the chassis, lovely and tidy. It does have a tow bar with seven pin electrics. And um, if you don't like those, they are pretty easy to remove. The holes are supposed to be there anyway. You can pop the camera underneath there, you can see rear axle and everything all lovely and clean and tidy under there. Around the rear screens, again, really good. New seals on those, all the glass is nice and clear. Again, normally around here you get a bit of corrosion, but lovely and tidy on this one. Has been kept in the garage ever since it was finished as well, which again, you can tell. Coming around on the passenger side again, if we look down this side, nice and straight. 
A little bit of haze on this panel section again, a good polish. It's not as bad as the other side. But a good polish will make a massive difference all around. Lovely and clean in this rear arch again. Pop the camera underneath from this side. See just how good it is under there. Another good wheel and tyre. Nice and neat all the way down this side. There's not really any marks to note. Got a small scratch down the bottom there. Passenger door, nice and clean and tidy. Around the handle's all good. It's obviously been adjusted properly because it's not scraped down here like they normally are. All good around the hinges. Mirrors are nice, again they're new. Glass on this side is good as well. We can have another look at the roof from here. We'll come down on the windscreen from this side. All the same sort of story. Lovely and clean and tidy. And then round on the front wing, got the air intake on this side again, nice and clean round here. All the seams are good. Inside this arch, it's lovely and tidy. Like I say, you've got the front, front freewheeling hubs, which is always nice to have. Lovely and clear on those lights and side lights and indicators on both sides. Galvanized front bumper, sits nice and straight. Around the grill is all very good. I'm guessing the grill was done at the same time because that one's lovely. Normally they've got a couple of teeth missing or something going on, but this one's really, really nice. As is the bonnet. Couple of very light scratches in the paint just there, but again, if you're gonna polish it, they'll, they'll go with that. So exterior wise, fantastic condition. You normally hold early Land Rovers to a slightly different standard than you would to any of your normal cars. Um, but this one, more than happy on a show field. Underside is fabulous. Interior, so you don't get a door card or anything on a Land Rover, but it is lovely and clean on there. All the fixings are good. Stainless steel fittings as well. Slight scuff here if we're being really picky from people getting in and out. If we go under there, you can see the floor's brand new. All the seats are lovely. They actually still smell like new seats in here as well. Nice and tidy on the steering wheel. Top of the dash is all very good. Shows 90,195 miles. We'll tell you what we know about history-wise as far as that goes. All the gauges are nice and clear. Got all the right plaques and everything in the right places. And then round into the boot. Now the boot did come with a few sort of spares and things that have been accumulated over the years. Taking them out so you can have a look, but they will be included with it. Rear door, all lovely and clean and tidy. If we lift this up, so there's a checker plate section down there just to uh, to protect that if you want to start using it. But if you pop the camera underneath again, you can see, if we go on by right underneath, we get the camera up there, I don't know if you can see, but it's had all new supports in the floor. Oda was telling me that there's about eight or 10 in there, about 50 quid a piece. Lovely and clean in this rear spare wheel. Well, you've got your spare wheel on this side, all nice and tidy in here. The hard top is all lovely and clean. No funny smells in here, no trap moisture. You can do all you want with the restoration. If you don't look after it afterwards, there's no point, but this one's obviously been well cared for. Nice and tidy on that passenger door. And then again, under here, I mean, they've got two sets of mats down. Shows you how, uh, how good it's been cared for after its restoration. Again, I don't think that seat's ever been sat in, to be fair, that looks brand new. Lovely and tidy on this side of the dash. Have another look at the roof from in here as well. Nice shine to it. More importantly, it doesn't have the wheel on the bonnet, so you don't have to be a strong man just to lift it up. Like I say, very rare, six cylinder, 2.6 litre petrol. Lovely and clean and tidy in there. It's been parked here since last night, like I said earlier on. Not a drop of any fluids on the floor there. Nice and tidy in those inner wings. Wheel detail in the description, everything's been done to the engine because it has been gone through. Um, and it is lovely and smooth, which I'll show you now. Hasn't been started since yesterday, so I'm going to give it a little bit of choke. And yeah, it starts on the button, first turn. How much smoother is that than the forepot? Go around the back. Turn a little bit of out the back there on, on choke. We'll back that off a little bit. So we're on about a quarter choke at that point. Definitely makes a better noise than your four pot as well. So there you have it. 1981 Defender Series 3. 
109 chassis, very rare six cylinder engine. It does come on that plate, which is a nice bit as well, VKH6W. Please check the description, we'll detail everything we know about this car. If you've got any questions at all, please get in touch. We are open every day for viewings. Again, let us know, we'll book you in. Any more questions, please let us know. Thank you.